Is he a rapper or a killer? First, it was his wife. He was real abusive. She was shot inside her parked car in 2017. Her husband, rapper Mad Music Cali, was never charged. It's just like he basically got away with murder. And now it's his ex-girlfriend. She was ambushed, shot five times in front of her nine-year-old son. Something has to be wrong with him. And worse, he was going live on social media in the days after. I'm not running for, from nothing, you feel me? He's not running now after police in Georgia just took him down, arresting him for murder. I'm Justin Carter. This is TSR Investigates. Justin Lewis, known as rapper Mad Music Cali, has been on the come up in New Orleans for years now. But he was also recently on the run after October 11th, his pregnant ex-girlfriend, Raisha Hurd, was shot multiple times while unloading groceries. Her nine-year-old son was also with her and witnessed it all. And from Atlanta to New Orleans, this is not the only family that accuses Lewis of killing their loved one. It was violent. 31-year-old mother of two, Raisha Hurd, shot five times here on Kelly Chapel Road, where her parents live in DeKalb County, Georgia. According to this police report, she was shot twice in the back, once in the chest, her leg, and her head. Her family was all there at the time. In the report, her mother told police she was two months pregnant, and the child's father, whose name was redacted, requested she terminate the pregnancy. She also told police a few months earlier he opened fire at her black Chrysler 300 one night and took off. He then threatened and said, quote, the only reason he didn't shoot her was because the clip fell out the weapon, end quote. Even more shocking, police were never notified about this. I just want justice for her. Her best friend spoke to the Fox affiliate WAGA in Atlanta days after her murder. Her smile. She always had a, a smile, a big smile. She, she touched a lot of people's lives. She had a, a lot of friends and she was just so loving and caring. The Shade Room has been in contact with the family. We're giving them space as they just laid Raisha Hurd to rest on Monday. It's been a rough week for them and scary after several family members told us that in the days after the shooting, Lewis was visible and vocal on social media about it. This is a girl I used to mess with, you feel me? Like, so, I don't know what to say about that. I feel like if they people felt like this, they, they spread the rumors through the internet. You can see him here going live with popular social media personality Keith Carroll. It's crazy how everybody try to bring you down when they really don't even know what's going on. So the girl, the girl, the, so the girl who got killed, that wasn't even your baby mama? No. Nah. The, the one from now, like the one that they sent, it could have been a possibility, possibility, you feel me? So that was your current girlfriend? No, I, I ain't got no girlfriend. No girlfriend at all. <sighs> you feel me? Only thing is my wife. That's the only girl, you feel me? That right. ever, my wife. But Lewis didn't go into detail about his wife because she's also dead. 25-year-old Sydney Dalcour, who was also a rapper that went by China Doll. This is her sister, Tracy. So she was married to Justin. For five years, he was really abusive to her. He fought her a lot. Like, he gave her black eyes. He put her in the hospital. She had to have staplers in her head. Like, say if she get, like, pretty and stuff, he a fighter for that. As a family, did y'all ever talk about getting her away from him? I mean, seeing her with bruises, black eyes, all of that? All the time. Her cousin, Mariah Dyer. She loved him so much. I think she had... She had hope and dreams that he would change his ways, and he never did. And it went too far. May 18, 2017, Dakor was found shot to death in her car outside an apartment complex in New Orleans. Police back then said that she was parked between two buildings with the engine still running. Her family said she had just gotten off work as a waitress. We all instantly knew he had something to do with it because like my cousin said, she had no problems with nobody. She was loved. She was adored by everybody. The family says the case fizzled after the only witness, a neighbor, chose not to testify. But we really felt like they dropped the ball. They would have paid more attention to her case. This young lady at Georgia would have never lost her life. And that's why they confronted Lewis 
after seeing him go live recently denying ever killing anyone. You killed my sister. You know you did it. Ain't nobody got a lie on you. You killed my sister. Look at she just sitting right there looking guilty as because he's guilty, y'all. Look at his face. Look at his face, y'all. Look how guilty he is. You hear it in your voice how painful it's been. If you notice when I kept saying you killed my sister, you killed my sister. He never once denied and say I didn't do it. I didn't think that he had the guts and the audacity. She says people blew up her phone when she got word that Lewis was also a suspect in the murder case in Georgia. It just brought so many open wounds and it's just like, mm -hmm. it's just like I had to relive everything over. But this time, DeKalb County Police had enough to charge him. He was arrested last Wednesday, found about 30 minutes away in a neighboring county. So relationship violence can happen to anybody. In the midst of Domestic Violence Awareness Month, we sat down with licensed psychologist, Dr. Rosalind Pitts-Clark. It just kind of goes to show that this kind of stuff is happening in our communities and it's real. It is, and it's happening every day. There are millions of women and children who are involved in domestic situations where they are their very lives are in danger. And so what we want to do as citizens, as friends, as family members, is just be alert and ask the question. There is no harm in asking someone in privacy, are you okay? Is something going on? Do you need something? Are you being hurt? And allowing that person the safe space to answer those questions. Because the more we keep it under the covers, the more we keep shame around it, the more people who will be victimized and the fewer people that we can reach for help. Hurd's family says that they are thankful that Lewis is in jail as they feared for their own safety. At last check, he's awaiting a preliminary hearing. Now, the domestic violence hotline, it's available 24 seven if you ever need a listening ear or need to report something. That number is 1-800-799-7233. For TSR Investigates, I'm Justin Carter. Hello roommates and thank you for watching our YouTube channel. Do you want more TSR Investigates? Be sure to subscribe and check us out at theshaderoom.com.